Boast it from the future. Ja, 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 ba, ba, da. We're starting in round eight stream because uh, that's how we do things. But today is going to be Victor on Fracture on Neon. Oh my goodness, he's going super aggressive straight off the bat. We're starting off on fire. Oh my goodness, he's jump shooting. Yeah, don't jump shoot as a Neon. So this round, you can see how he's just kind of jump spotting every angle. Nice little slide there. He was expecting the jet to kind of play the flank. Stun on the stairs to stop anyone kind of posting on him. Ulting that corner because everyone's always in that corner. And I think the comms kind of said, yeah, they're in that corner. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. We're starting straight off the bat. So the reason why we're doing Optic Victor is because I think his Neon is, uh, he might not have the highest ACS or the highest kind of like, KD, but I think he's just really good entry, and I think that's a Neon, you're gonna, having his entry skills is super strong to facilitate the carries of the team. So you can see he's kind of charging in, the stun there, uh, just to kind of knock the Orpa off even further, but in this round it's a pistol round, so he's kind of just uh, making sure that anyone that's behind the Breach stun is also getting stunned. Because people will try and peek, oh Breach stun, I'll tuck in. Oh, Neon's done. I can't tuck in from that. I don't have enough time. So he's just kind of like expanding the kind of area of where the stun goes. So you can see how he also with Neon like jiggling. So what jiggling is, is like peeking an angle and kind of like having a little peek. Um, you can, he does it always when he's running. And I see like Soulcast as well, Dom, who's another Neon player. Always jump spots using Neon Dash. So it's a lot harder to kill her. So let's see what he does here. So fast run in again, you're probably going to see that stun again. So instant stun. Sun. He gets stunned, so he's tucking in and he hears the door open. He's going to charge up his, his uh, little slide there. Lovely. Very nicely done. I think that uh, pair that with a breach flash, that could have been kind of sexy. But he gets killed from behind, and that is the end of this round. Let's see how his teammates play it out. Yeah, they just kind of trade it out there. So that's like, this is how he's kind of taken A main. Let's see if he does any other kind of areas. Oh, what is this? Okay, so he's got his wall going over the roof there, which probably cuts across the A main. Yeah, so it, it must go through the glass or something. I didn't even know that's possible. So that cuts off the AWPers angle and it like, it kind of scares him from him like rushing into yard. But now here he comes. Stuns there. So if you throw your stun there, it's going to bounce on the back wall, get a bit of heaven. And also it's going to bounce and go into what we call snacks, which is that close left corner around the side, which some people like to play. So it's like a, a really uh, nice stun there. It's super oppressive. When you got a Neon and a Breach against you on Fracture, it's like you don't really have many, very many places to stand on the site. And then he got to the close Jenny angle, which is a super good angle in post plant. Lots of teams don't tend to check it. So he's done the wall again, paired it with the stun to kind of fake uh, for the uh, against the enemies there, which is uh, probably works quite well in ranked. Uh, yeah, and now uh, you'll see him probably do his run again and the stun again. Oh no, he's actually skipped the stun this time because the dogs cleared it out, and he's just instantly gone into heaven. He's, yeah, he doesn't pull out his util there. He's not pulling out a stun. He's kind of just posting up with his gun. Next round. So no wall this time. He's actually just rushing again. Does the stun? He actually hits someone, I think. Oh, what the hell? does his wall and he's just seeing oh it did actually hit the rainer yeah so he's aware of that and he shot his wall up and he was just kind of instead of running up with the wall he was just high holding so a lot of people like to kind of swing into the wall and, and take that take that fight so next round he's actually oh it's, it's already over but it looks like he's used his wall already and he's probably and he's used one of his stuns so he probably went to fake a again honestly or is it the same round no it's not the same round i don't think Right, here we go again. So it looks like he's lining up for his wall. Oh no, no he's not. Breach is going to stun for him. Here he goes. He's running in. He dodges the enemy stun probably. No, but he does his stun again and it looks like it hits someone again. So he's aware of it. He adds another stun off the wall. Asks for a flash. Really nicely done. That Reyna is really, uh, really wants to get that fight. But he just can't. And that's what makes the Neon really good is like pairing her with a Breach. I think on this map especially. Um, and you can see him kind of going up here, walls up, runs in, and he knows the tower guy probably can't hear him right now. And he's just kind of flanking. Gets a nice little kill on him. 
No, oh. I troll, I troll. And he did troll, yeah. yeah. But at least he knows yeah, he trolls. Alright, so we're on overtime now. Yeah. Yeah. now. 26 round overtime. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna peek so once again, running into A main. Dodges the stun net. Dashes. Oh my god. They're all there. Five, five, go, go. He was really a. Chamber is the one here. Chamber is the one here. That was funny. This enemy's dog up. Kill that trip. Super oh, yes. good to kill that trip. Really nice oh, pre-fire yes. onto that, uh, the jelly this, angle there. Look at this information, guys. I say chamber is the one here, and he correctly reduces that. He's going to be boosted top jet. Yeah, very nice. Free shot as well. This is one. Easiest win of our lives. Oh, easy kill. All right. Let's go, baby. That's our clear for the win. All right, so because we didn't see much of defense or, or much else on attack, because I've watched a lot of Optic VOD, so I know what else he can do on this Neon. So I'm going to quickly show you on Valorplant uh, what else you can actually do. All right, so we'll start with defense, um, Neon. So Neon on defense, super strong in A main, okay? And that's because of her stun. You know, you can, uh, you can bounce the stun here, and it bounces to here if you think they're already, like, pushed in. So it will kind of, the trajectory will be like this. So that gets all those angles. It doesn't get this angle. However, if you actually manage to get into this corner and have someone potentially baiting for you here, like if you think they, the enemy team likes to go A main a lot, if you get into this corner, it's super strong. I see a lot of Neons play here and they bounce it here and they bounce the other one and it probably lands like that. Maybe they do it like that uh, or like this. And then they normally swing and everyone's normally like stunned. So it's like a, I guess it will actually look like that. Um, uh, Baby Bay was actually quite a good Neon to watch as well. I watched their, their VODs recently as well, and I think he's a quite a good one. I see a lot of Neons loving the A main. Um, I think it's one of her best kind of positions. Uh, any, any, any position that has kind of like a corridor, and then she can kind of just throw her stun through it, swing off of it. I think it's probably one of the best bots for her to go. I actually don't think she has anywhere good on B that she can go, honestly. The good thing about Neon is, is like, say you got A main and they go B, you have fast flank. Or say if you're in dish, I, I don't know how good dish is, but I can see like some potential stuns kind of going in. Like you could probably throw it off this wall at a certain angle and it bounces down into this choke. But I'm not entirely sure how else you're meant to play. I just think A main is the way to go. Let's say you get pushed off A main though. Then I guess a position is around here, honestly. And you kind of want to know how to kind of throw a stun like off this into this and I like a uh, swing peek with it I mean I'm not the best at neon honestly I don't play her very often uh, if not at all she's actually my worst character uh, probably throwing one off this and here landing it on this wall and then like peeking peeking off of it you could probably stand here if they open the door you just throw a stun I mean you could maybe even be here and you just throw a stun stun like that that that's probably the best stun here. So you stand here, they open the door, and you think they're rushing your yard, stun, stun. And then you swing off of it, and you just kill them if they're here. I think that's another play. And I know that on Dish, uh, there's two ways you can do it. He likes to run here, and I think his breach stuns this angle. And what he does is he has a, he throws it at this wall, and what it does is it bounces, and it goes here as well. So that covers both chokes. It covers, if someone comes up, they get stunned. And then you just bounce, bounce. And it stuns anyone wanting to peek here. And I think he runs this. I can't remember which way he runs. I think he actually carries on running this way. And he dashes here. So I think with Neon, like, if you're making it really obvious where you're running to, you're better off just using your dash, you know? You don't want to save your dash for when you're, like, executing or whatnot. You want to you wanna just use your dash kind of whenever. Because that is... Uh, I think whenever you think you're going to get into a fight, when if you think someone's going to be somewhere around here, just use it, you know? Like, I think that's kind of how it, it rolls. You want to use it when you're swinging on someone. Now, when it came to on B stairs, on attack side, what he liked to do was he'd fast lane up here. And then what actually in Optic they do is they bounce the KO flush here. So it flushes the, the, the snacks angle, we call it. Uh, and then he also runs up and just throws his stun like this. So that's what the stun does. It bounces here, bounces here, clears that, and then he dash through here. They also actually paired it with a breach stun sometimes. So they'd have like that. <laughs> so anywhere on the left-hand side, you're stunned. Um, and I think the best places for Neon are stairs, main, 
and Dish, honestly, on the start of attack. I don't think you see many de Neons running this way. But I guess if you do, the one that you can do probably is probably like a jump throw. You jump stun off this, so it gets that, and it gets that. It will bounce here and land here. So it will be something like, probably like that. That's probably the best stun that you can do on Neon from here. You could probably bounce one if you're coming under, you think Chamber's there. You can bounce one like this. I think it's getting used to playing her because I see the way that Baby Bay does it. He aims at the floor a lot. So then it bounces up. Like, say if he wanted to stun this area. He doesn't just throw it at the wall. What he does is he aims down. So it bounces once and it bounces again. So then he gets, like, a nice uh, block here. Whereas, like, some people would just be like, oh, I need to stun this area. I'm going to throw it. And then they throw it like this. It bounces and it, like, bounces there. And the trajectory is all off. And then, meanwhile, the enemy teams are swinging into him. But because it's when Baby Bay does it, it's like this. So, you know, like, you kind of know what I mean? You have to kind of consider that as a neon. Um, how you want to throw your stuns. She's good in team gains. In ranked, I don't see her being that impactful. Uh, but she is really good on fast rotations. So there is that. And she's quite good at faking. Because her stun is quite annoying. This fast lane. Like, they, you saw him, like, using the fast lane. Optic love using it on here. Like, they use it here, they send a stun, and then he can instantly run back. So he's really good at, like, faking because he can catch up with the team when, like, he's faking, they start walking in, and then, like, the fake has been made, he runs back faster, he makes it with the team as they're literally coming out. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for Neon. Um, My knowledge isn't, I am, so unfortunately, I'm not a fountain of knowledge when it comes to this agent either. Uh, But hopefully you learn a bit of something from me there or from Victor. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy your games and go out there and have fun. Thanks very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment if you want some of this. La 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 lovely content.